Consider a population that grows according to the recursive rule p sub n equals p sub n minus one plus 120 with initial population p sub zero equals 20. We should recognize this recursive formula as linear growth where the common difference d is equal to 120. We first want to find p sub one. When finding p sub one, notice n is equal to one here as well as here. So p sub one is equal to p sub one minus one, that'd be p sub zero plus 120. But we're given p sub zero equals 20, so p sub one is equal to 20 plus 120, which is equal to 140. When we find p sub two, n is now equal to two. So p sub two is equal to p sub two minus one, or p sub one plus 120. Well, we just found p sub one. p sub one equals 140. So we have 140 plus 120, which equals 260. Now we're asked to find the explicit equation from the recursive equation. We have both the recursive and explicit equations for linear growth given here. Again, where d is the common difference, and p sub zero is the initial value, which we know is 20. So we have all the information we need to find our explicit equation, but I do want to point out that even though this equation looks different, it is equivalent to the linear equation y equals b plus mx, more commonly written as y equals mx plus b where the slope m is the same as the common difference d, and the y-intercept b is the same as the initial population p sub zero. So our explicit equation p sub n, again, is equal to p sub zero, which is 20, plus our common difference d times n, the common difference is 120. So we have 120 times n. Notice how the variable here on the left must match the variable here on the right. Now we want to use the explicit equation to find p sub 100, so we'll substitute n equals 100 into our explicit equation. So p sub 100 is equal to 20 plus 120 times 100, which is 20 plus 120 times 100 is 12,000. So p sub 100 is equal to 12,020. I hope you found this helpful.